There's a single 4514. You double click the video. Okay! Hello everybody, my name is Edward Harley and welcome to Let's Play Hope Abandoned. This is a new indie puzzle horror game that I found on Itch.io where you are a person who's trying to find stuff out. Apparently, uh, actually, you know what, let's just figure out the story with this. It all seemed to start when the family next to us had moved in a month, moved in a month ago. Pets started going missing, children stopped playing outside, for sale signs sprung up frequently. The whole thing is absurd, my dad would say. People, perhaps we should move out too, my mom worried. We sat around the dinner, dinner table, rehashing the same conversations that occupied our thoughts each day. I felt ill to my stomach. Was it something we ate, or just, or just trepidation of these strange occurrences getting even worse? What is going on? My head started spinning. My parents faded into a haze. What is happening? Where am I? Oh. Oh, and it's a click game. Oh, okay. Can I interact with the dolls? Just a cute little doll in a red dress. Uh, doesn't look that cute. Cute. A cute doll lies on the floor. Would you like to inspect it? Uh, sure. You turn the doll around in your hands, inspecting it thoroughly. You notice a small hole in the back. It might be possible to tear open the hole a bit more. Sure, let's tear it open. Let's see what happens. Uh, don't laugh at me. You find a key within the doll. You take the brass key. All right. Oh, and it looks like blood. That is great. A teddy bear is sitting on the floor. It's missing an ear. No, it's not. No, it's not. I see two ears there. Don't tell me it's missing an ear. That's unusual. All the drawers are empty. Uh-oh. That's not good. I don't like that very much. Let's just try to inspect everything. Oop, notes. Some pages lie on the floor. Read them. Yes, please. Dear Diary, we moved to this new place. I'm not sure if I'm excited or scared. I hope I can meet new friends. You know what? Me too. Friends are always nice. The doll appears to be bleeding. Yes, it does. Do you see that? I, <laughs> I see that, and I don't like that. Let's inspect that again. All right. That's great. Should I go? Should I leave? Let's leave. You insert the key into the lock. The door springs open. But why does the door lock from the outside anyway? Interesting question. One that I would... Um, oh, do you see that? I see that. Do you see that? I see that. I don't like that. That is uh, not, not cool. Okay. The page is on the floor. Read them. Yes, please. Dear Diary, I found a cat outside. She's cute. I call her Fluffy. Daddy doesn't like Fluffy. He was mad when I brought her home. Oh, good. Isn't it nice to have someone who's mad about bringing a cat home? Maybe he's allergic. That's it. That's that's a very innocent explanation. Dear Diary, I'm not sure where Fluffy went. I found her collar in Daddy's office. I miss Fluffy. Oh, no. Please tell me he didn't kill Fluffy. The bathtub is full of tepid bath water. Uh-oh. You gotta wash your hands, but no water runs from the faucet when you turn it on. The mirror is filthy and too hard to see anything in. Alright, can I go poop? Can I poop? Let's go poop. You debate for a moment if it's worth fishing around in the toilet for something valuable, but decide against. But decide against it. You know what? I want to fish in the toilet. Seriously, stop. What are you expecting to find? A key? Yes. Nope. Stop. Stupid. Cause yeah, it's it is windowed. There's nothing I can do about that. So I kind of had to. Cl I I actually I clicked out of it. I gotta I gotta watch out or something is gonna happen all the time. All right. So scary girl, you still out here? I don't like the look of this place. It's really not cool. It's really not good for me, I don't think. You hear walking upstairs, uh, going on upstairs. And then weird mumbling, like, <laughs> Dear Diary, I'm learning to read better. I was trying to, re to read the books in the library, but Daddy keeps shooing me away. Uh, okay. You got both from a shelf. Henry the Handsome, 8th entry. 8th entry in the Go Ghastly Ghost series. Grab a book from, uh, Anna the Able. The first entry. All right, Anna the Able, Evan the Enlightened. Are these are going to be important. Let's just check and see. Frank the Ferocious. You shush. Henry the Handsome. I didn't know that one. Lisa the Luxurious. So we're apparently missing volume three, volume th a whole bunch of volumes. All right, Owen the Omnipotent. All right, I'm not going to look at them all. I don't think I have to. Let's see. Kitchen. Can I get some foods? A bottle of liquid fell right out of Matt. Smash on the floor. Appears to be ketchup. Possibly. All right, good. I, I, uh, good. I'm just gonna assume that's ketchup, because I would much rather not deal with that. Dear diary, mommy left us. Daddy says she was being a hothead. I'm not sure what that means, but I hope she comes home soon. You know what? Me too, little kid. I don't know if you're a girl, so I'm just gonna kind of go with a generally neutral. There's a, there's a cupboard full of old food. The sense of staleness wafts past your nostrils. It's a stove. One of the elements is charred. Uh, look inside it. 
Oh my, hi, as a head in the oven. Yes, in the stove. Yes, there is. Look at that thing. Oh my, hi. How you doing? He lurks back in disgust. Yes, that is definitely. Uh, read it? Yep. Open the book to my loving son, Edward. Hey, that's me. Your skills with a knife are second to none. The rest of the pages contain a variety of recipes. All right. Sink is empty. There's a knife and chopped onions. Uh, let's take the knife just in case. I. All right, good. I, I am happy I have that. Is there an inventory button? I'm just gonna try to press some button. Oh, weapon. All right, how do how do I navigate? All right, so X is the inventory button. I don't have any armors. Ooh, we have a brass key. That's right, I do. Equipped. Look at that face. Oh, look at that face. I, I'm I'm just known as girl. Cutting bar with dice carrots. All right. What is this? What are you? Oh, okay then. That's good. There's a fedora on the rack. Yes, let's take the fedora. Let's put that shit on, shall we? Equipped. Uh, head. No, no. That yes. Just be stupid then. I wanted to wear my fedora. Some pages lie on the floor. Read them? Yes, please. Dear diary, Daddy worried me the other day. He didn't take his fedora off when he came home like he usually does. Then he yelled at me and locked me in my room. I don't like the sound of that. Let's see. Anything scary going on back here? Couches? You hiding shit? The curtain appears to be blocking something. Push yes, move the curtain. Re revealed something. What is that? A strange panel lies beneath the curtain. That's... There's what appears to be an unusual keyhole in it. Doesn't appear to have anything to interact with this panel. I have a key! I have a key! Can I- can I use this? Can I please? Please? <laughs> Alright, I don't know- I don't know how the- For some reason the system, like the mechanics, aren't- I'm not sure exactly how to work them, there's just buttons. Some pages lie on the floor, read them, yes please. Dear Dari, I love when mommy plays the piano. She plays it so well. Daddy keeps threatening to rip the hand- The handle off so it can't play by itself. Okay. The TV just displays a message about how cable connection being interrupted. All right. Pot of flowers. You sit down at the piano and prepare to play when you notice a wooden handle on the bass. Playing music by itself. Turns out it was a player piano. Unfortunately, you might have pulled too hard. <laughs> Looks like the handle has loosened a bit. All right. Uh, loosen it more. All right, you take the handle with you. All right. So I got now a piano, piano handle. It's a piano as a... <laughs> Hi, girly! How you doing? I'm gonna call you girly. That's who you're now. That's who you are now, officially, as of now. Oh, good. What was that? Was that that door? Pretty sure that was. Dear diary, Daddy shook me really hard the other day. He's really scaring me. He threw me into my room, and I was gra and I was grabbing his jacket so tightly, I it pulled right off. Uh, great. Appears to be locked. So let's open this one. This one's open. All right. Let's see, any scary stuff going on in here? Dear Diary, Mommy's dress is so pretty, not like Daddy's jacket. He's still mad at me for ruining it by scratching letters on it when he locked me in my room. Well then don't lock your children in rooms, stupid Daddy. It's a metal skeleton on a stick. The bones dangle when touched. Hey, it's Scully. I miss you, Scully. I don't interact with you nearly as much as I should. Ooh, another note. Another diary entry. Dear Diary, I played on Daddy's computer and changed his safe password. It's weird. I put in some letters, then it changed to numbers. Hmm. Interesting. There's a flowery dress on the chat on the rack. All right, take the flowery dress. Should I put it on? There we go. All right. There we go. Now I'm wearing the dress and the fedora, and I have a sharp knife. Great. You go to look in the mirror. Are you telling me I'm ugly? Is that what happened? Are you telling me I'm ugly? I don't appreciate that. There's a safe with electronic panel on it. It appears to accept numerical input. I don't really have anything for this. There we go. Done open. Alright, so I need to find the code for this. Let's see if I... Is there any notes? Can I find codes? Appears to be locked. So let's... Item. Key item. Brass key. No. One, five... Six, eight, twelve. Save doesn't open. All right. What am I supposed to do then? 
All right, so I kind of had to look it up. Uh, I kind of had to cheat, just 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 a little bit, not 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 in a malicious way, but I was just getting tired of it. I've been wandering around for probably the past ten minutes trying to figure this out. So I had to look it up a little. So I apologize, and yet I'm not sorry because I'm just I was just done with that nonsense. I just didn't want to deal with that anymore. Yay! I got into the office. Anything good in here? Anything good? Some pages lie on the floor. Yes, please read them. Dear Diary, I found Fluffy. Daddy is so mad. I'm really scared. I tried to crawl out through the corner of the room. I can't. I'm so scared. Where's Mommy? A uh, picture of father, mother, and a little girl. No one is smiling. Uh-oh. Computer boots up to the desktop. You notice a variety of different icons and folders. Uh, let's look at the pictures. There's a folder here called Forbidden. Uh-oh. There's a single 4514. You double-click the video. Ah! Okay. Okay. Um, no. Internet browser. The save tabs, all things, variety of sites documenting, discussing animal cruelty. All right. Logs. There are a number of text documents. Almost all of them are sequence numbers instead of text. Okay. Print jobs. Single job queue. Print. A sheet of paper slides out the feed. All right. So let's figure out what did it print. There's a piece where I take the paper. I take the slip of paper. Doesn't have a dial tone. All right. That means I'm done. Right? Teddy bear is tattered and torn. There's blood on it. I don't like blood. I don't like blood on my things. There's a crack in the wall. It appears as though you might be able to break away a little bit more using the wooden handle. Yeah! You bust up the wall to reveal some circuitry. There's a directional switch within the wiring with four lights lined up next to it. Do you want to toggle the switch? Sure! Let's do that! Let's see what happens. Which direction would you like to move the switch? Let's just go first one. Left. Right. Left. Nothing happened. Okay. So how do I figure out what I'm supposed to do now? On the paper it says, not feeling right lately. Been down ever since I left it right under the porch. Left what? Kind of curious about that. Left what, where, and why? Alright, so it was the note. Took me, took me a second, but I got it. Right down, left, right. Right down, wait. Right down. Right down, left, right, I think. Alright, let's try that. Right. Down. Left. Right. Here's something open. Yeah! Strut, bitch! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Stop it. I don't like this. Stop. Would you stop, please? Where am I going? There's bodies down here, I'm fairly certain. There's just bodies. Feeling around, you think you found a light switch. You flip the switch. Oh, good. Touch the fur and mangled animal corpses litter the floor around you. Overwhelmed in horror, you fall to your knees. No! It takes more for you to gain your composure as you crumble. As you scramble to get back to your feet, you notice a journal page in your hands. Daddy's crazy! Daddy killed our pets! Daddy's killing everyone's pets! I think Daddy killed Mom! I think Daddy's going to kill me! Don't kill me, Daddy! Someone please help me! You grab the incriminating journal page. I'm out of here! Get out of here! You hear someone approaching. You feel as though someone is coming for you. You need to get get out quick. I'm out of here! Get out of here, girl! You go, girl! Get out of here! No! What does that countdown mean? Can I stab her? Let's go stab her. Let's go stab the girl. Let's go stab her in the face. Hey girl, come here. I want to stab you. How you doing? Girl points at your knife with fear written across her face and then disappears. Alright. Uh, I'll take that as a good sign, I guess. I don't have the knife! Well, I guess I do, but I don't have it equipped! I'm so dead. I'm dead. Three, two, one. Oh no, wearing fedora, black jacket, and wielding a knife comes after you. I was the one with the knife, the fedora, and the black jacket. Unable to escape, escape his charge, he grabs your shoulder and plunges the knife into you. Once, twice, hundred times. He doesn't stop. Eventually, the pain is subdued as you begin to lose consciousness. All you see is red and close your eyes. Without the, without the information you carried being brought to authorities, there is no chance he'll ever be apprehended. Well, there goes the neighborhood. The end. That was stupid. Stupid. That was stupid. Stupid! I better be able to freaking shit. 
All right, so let's do this one more time. I'm gonna do this really quick. I'm not gonna worry about the notes. I am going to uh, tear it open, take the doll. We're gonna. I'm gonna just do this like lightning fast, since I know a lot of the stuff that's gonna happen anyway. I think. There we go. Let's open the door. Pretty sure I remember this. There we go. I remembered. Could have sworn I'd forget. So let's go back into that room. Right. All right. We'll go all the way to the corner. Flip the switch. Oh no. Oh no, daddy's killing everything. Here's someone approaching. The girl looks at your dress, she smiles and hugs you. All right, so it's different. Let's talk to her again. Hi, girl. The girl ignores your presence. Said she just keeps staring at the floor right in front of her. What does that mean? Look closer. There appears to be a key on the floor. You pick it up. You take the skull key. All right. Oh, hi, girl. Hi, girly. Girl point points past the fireplace. Okay, that must mean I can go do the thing. I have this key. I have the key now. Change panel. Uh, 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 uh. Use the skull key. So the skull key here. Door creak open nearby. Now see the front door. Get out of here. Running for your life from the hellish mansion. You see the light of the outside. <sighs> As you run through the doorway, you are bathed in sunlight. You're embraced by the warmth. With the journal entry with, from the child on hand, you run home to show your parents. Redemption for the lost girl will be at hand. She will no longer suffer in the afterlife. The end. Yay! I did both endings and I wasn't a complete and total dumbass. I kind of was. I had to cheat a little bit to get that safe, uh, that safe combination because I have had absolutely no idea how to figure that one out. If you want to try this game for yourself, I'll post a link in the description so you can have a go. I gotta say, I liked it. I liked the, I liked the journal entries stuff. I liked that it wasn't, you know, too horrifying. It had a couple decent scares with the skull in the, in the oven and the, um, the video on the computer. And I like how it was just kind of generally creepy. Obviously, the style of it didn't allow for, a whole, you know, extra creepiness because it wasn't, you know, real. It was just kind of just generally ominous, which I liked. I thought that was cool. I'd like to see more. I'd like to see kind of more of this. Maybe some backstory. Maybe a, a, another game that's like this, but told from the girl's point of view. Obviously, you kind of know the ending. You know, she eventually is killed by her father. But just kind of the work up to it, I think, would be a cool game to do as well. I think that'd be really interesting. And like I can say, so overall, I liked it. I enjoyed myself. If you want to try it, you go ahead. Link's in the description. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Mr. Voice, can I go Can I go poop? I always ask to go poop in these games, because I, I should. I wonder how that blood came here. Shit, I hope I'm not in some kind of horror story. <laughs> you're kind of sexy. Hi. Maybe not so sexy. You're kind of, you're kind of fugly. Definitely fugly. I'm getting some batteries. I thought she was sexy at first.